Alaska is a Viking survival game where you will build up a village with NPC workers that will also help you and your tribe survive. You will also have to defend your village from attacks. To help you get the best start, here are my top tips. Number one, Viking Radar. You are given a special ability that you should use all the time. Push Z to activate this and everything that is harvestable will glow yellow. This is super helpful for finding a resource, but it also works amazingly when it's dark at night. Number two, food. Early on, you will find berries which will deal with your thirst and hunger. But keep an eye out for garlic and onions, as when these are eaten, they will also heal you. You can stack the heals by eating multiple at a time so the effect keeps going. This means you don't need to wait to eat the next one. The more you eat, the faster you will recover your health. Number three, water. Early on, you start with a pouch that has water in. However, to find more water, you need to look for water collectors on the ground. You cannot gather water from the ocean at the beginning. Also, when choosing your base, pick a location next to a water collector, as later on you can build a well and these can only be placed on top of water collectors. Number four, fiber. If you run out of fiber and can't find any flax bushes, you can break down bark and thatch in your inventory to make more. To do this, shift and left click on the item. Number five, decay. Items and resources will decay over time, so make sure you make use of the storage huts. These will slow the rate of decay for all resources. Decay on food will reset when cooked, so you can use this if you have a cookable item that is about to go bad. Number six, sleeping. Sleeping in Asuka does not skip time, but it will give you a buff if you sleep for a short period of time. The better the accommodation, the longer the rested buff will last. The simple shelter provides a buff for 4 minutes, and the chieftain hut will give you a buff for 12 minutes. This will affect how much stamina you have, and also your stamina recovery. Number 7. Villagers Every villager is different and will have different perks and skills. Pay attention to these as some may be better at certain tasks and some even have a night owl perk, meaning they work better at night. You can set each villager's work and rest schedule, so for these you may want to set them as night workers so they are more efficient for the camp. Villagers will also level their skills over time whilst working on tasks you give them. So the longer they do one task, the better they will become at it. When a villager first joins the camp, they will automatically be assigned as a builder and you will need to assign them the job that you want them to do. Number eight, pin tasks. If you place a building down and pin the resources needed, this also means this building will be prioritized by your builder villagers and so they will work on gathering resources and completing this building first. Number nine, resource markers. Make sure you place resource markers in other areas so your villagers assigned to these tasks can go further out to find and harvest the resources needed for the base. Each gathering building placed will have a marker and a radius, but you may run out in that area or not have enough where you built your camp. So make sure to maximise this by placing flags further out in resource-rich areas. You can get rid of these markers in the settlement screen by pushing tab if you decide later that you don't want them. This will save you running across the map back to them. Number 10, compass markers. The red eye next to the marker on the map means that they will not show up on your compass. To track a building or a villager, add them to your compass by clicking on the marker on the map and this will add them to your compass at the top of the screen. The same goes for getting rid of the marker. So guys, that's my top tips for getting started in Asuka. I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please consider hitting the like button as it really helps me out. And if you would like to see more videos, then please consider subscribing as well. Cheers guys.